All right, hello. How was your day? So today I'm gonna tell you guys how you can get Chromatic Brawlers free to play. Just like your boy, I got Surge free to play. Now open it, I'm gonna close my eyes. All right, and then I'm gonna click again. <laughs> we don't care. Let me tell you, right, let me tell you, we don't care. I mean, I bought the Brawl Pass, but I didn't even use the tiers to get him. So if you wanna be like me, then listen up. All right, so some of these tips might seem like common sense, but trust me, some of them are really good, and I guarantee you, you probably didn't know one of these. So listen up. So my first tip is a little bit of a reminder for some people out there. Do all of your free challenges for the Brawl Pass, and do all the daily ones, like don't miss a single one, because I know that some people out there actually dodge challenges for certain brawlers that they don't like, and uh, that's not good, bro. If you want to get that juicy chromatic brawler free to play, then uh, you got to do all those challenges, bro. Trust. And I mean, it could help you learn the brawler if you don't like them, bro. If you can't hit your shots with Piper, just practice with the challenge, and uh, you might just be Oh my god you might be the world's best piper one day all right so tip number two this kind of goes along with that but uh you got to push all your brawlers evenly because i know that some people out there don't push certain brawlers because they don't like them just like how they don't play the challenges but trust me there's another reason why you should push your brawlers evenly so for the people out there who get their shelly to like rank 47 and then keep their bullet rank 2 you're missing out on a lot of coins dude and a lot of power points some of you might not have known this but every rank that you get on your brawler you actually get coins which of course helps you get boxes and of course free to play players actually got a buff when the brawl pass came out so you're getting even more just from getting coins so for real bro push all your brawlers as high as you can whether that's rank 20 or rank 72 push your brawlers as high as you can because every rank up will help you a ton so again like leaving a brawler at zero trophies is not ideal you want to trust me in on this one dude all right so if you have a star power on any brawler then listen up okay you gotta play power play at any chance you get which should be a lot because it's you know a daily thing so just set your calendar for you know every single day and uh, make sure that you don't miss any of those power play matches because they are really important some people haven't even touched power play because they just don't even want to but uh, trust me even if you lose you still get rewards so uh, it's worth at the end of every season you pretty much get your rewards and uh, whether you won or lost like even if you lose every single match you should be getting quite a bit of power points and you might be saying hey wh what do I even do with them well I got you bro okay listen up go to that shop right there and then scroll over and boom you got boxes right there for power points easy dubs bro so uh save up your power points and buy those boxes dude i mean bro that's like 13 free boxes for you right there all right so moving on i wasn't originally gonna add this one but i thought it would be good if you have any brawlers that are like only rank 20 then uh you gotta push them higher bro i mean not only could you get more coins and more power points just from ranking them up but actually at the end of every season you get power points based on how many trophies you have above 500 so if you keep pushing your brawlers which at this point isn't that hard to do just because of how supercell was extremely generous and they made it kind of easy to get trophies keep doing that push your brawlers really high and uh once the season resets you'll get a ton of power points if you push a lot of brawlers above 500 i know a lot of people aren't at that point right now but uh for those who are then uh, you gotta do it all right so moving on if there's one chromatic brawler that you just really want and you don't really care about the other ones then listen up what you gotta do is you gotta save those boxes in that current season until the next one starts i'm sure all you guys know about this by now but there's a button that lets you go back to your previous season every single reward that you had in the old season and there's one big reason why i say to do this if your legendary chance is super low then that chromatic brawler is gonna go from legendary drop rate to mythic so uh you're gonna be getting a one up right here but make sure you don't wait two seasons to try to get them because uh the boxes will probably go away i'm pretty sure you can only save up to one extra season worth of boxes but yeah if you really want that brawler and your legendary drop rate is absolute doo-doo then uh, i'd recommend waiting a season but if you're kind of impatient like me then you don't really have to it's just good advice but that's gonna do it for all my main tips but i just want to let everybody know something at the end of the day it all comes down to luck like you could do all these tips and uh, get nothing but at the same time you could do all these tips and get the brawler way earlier than you could have before so trust me these tips will help and even if you don't get the brawler at least you had a better chance to some people are just really unlucky and i guess it is what it is but if you do end up getting a chromatic brawler or like any high rarity brawler after watching this video then let me know because this works for any brawler at high rarities and again i would appreciate a like and a sub for anybody who's new from the channel and if you do then you're a legend but yeah that's gonna do it so i'll see you guys in the next video have a good night